What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. With concerns about student safety on the rise, Pikeville Independent is working to ensure they stay up to date with the latest safety recommendations from the Kentucky Department of Education. One of the, one of the focuses that we, we've put in place uh, over the last couple of years especially is, is, is working hard to, to always try to, uh, to move forward with safety and, and continuing to have conversations around how we secure our buildings. So, you know, one of the things you just, you just used, we, we do have a system in place at the, at the front doors that we communicate with anybody who comes in prior to their their entry. Um, we, are, we have our badge system for our staff and we've worked on, on doing that. We've increased our, uh, our, our, our camera availability and then we, we just, I, I think the greatest improvement uh, that we can always make is that we always every day try to build stronger and stronger relationships and I think we're doing a really nice job of, of authentically just assuring that everybody in this district uh, knows that we care about them, that we trust them, and that, that their safety is, is our number one priority. These safety measures were put to use February 2nd in response to an incident at Pikeville High School. Yesterday, um, we had an incident. A, uh, a student led an, another um, a minor into the building. Once the students uh, had, had concern, they, they spoke to the administration. As soon as the administration was aware within, I asked the principal, I said, how long have you had this information? 30 seconds, I called you, called me, we, we contacted local law enforcement, our SRO was already present on the campus and so collectively we began to work on the process. We, we did address that to the fullest extent that we can both through legal and through our own school managers because um, you, you, you place our students in an unsafe environment and I, I assure you uh, we're, going to, uh, we're, we're going to take proper precautions. Trimble also stated there was no danger to student or faculty during the incident. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.